The Beast, written by Jack T. Chick. The Lord Jesus is coming again, and he gave us this sign. And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man, speaking of himself. In the days of Noah, God was sorry he had made mankind, because they had become so rotten. Everything was totally evil, so he destroyed everything that lived on the earth. The blind and rebellious people didn't believe that God would bring judgment upon the earth until it was too late. Only righteous Noah and his family were saved. Is it possible that today we are living in times similar to Noah's time that the Lord spoke of? Let's see. Life as it is today. I'll kill you for that. I hate you. I'll bet on the little man. You remind me of my fourth wife. Stop it. My husband is watching us. You know he doesn't care. You know you're the only man for me. I have the power. Lucifer is Lord. Yes, and we are bringing peace with a one-world government, a new age. Hey, there's an old nut outside, preaching the gospel. Let's go give him the business, ha ha ha. This know also, that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce, bre truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. Today's conditions are the same as it was in the days of Noah. When the Lord Jesus Christ returns, no one will expect it. I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Hardly anyone is looking for the Lord's return, and the churches are spiritually falling apart. All the religions will unite to serve the coming world ruler who is called the Beast. Christ spoke of a time far worse than the days of Noah. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor shall ever be. God judged Noah's evil day with sudden destruction. We're facing the same at any moment. There is a blessed hope, but it is only for those who believe that Jesus died for them on the cross, that he shed his precious blood to wash away their sins. It is for those who receive Jesus as their personal Lord, Savior, and Master. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. When will this happen? The Lord Jesus said, But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Those who are left behind have rejected Jesus Christ, Christ and face God's judgment in the coming nightmare. The four horsemen ride across the earth. The conqueror, the destroyer of peace, famine, and death. Enter the Great Tribulation. Satan raises up a leader that the world will love. This man of peace stabilizes the world economy and pulls the religions of the world together. He demands total loyalty. He is Satan's masterpiece and he rules from the Vatican. The beast hates Israel, God's chosen people, and he makes a false treaty with them. It's alive. A great image is made of the beast. It is given life and speaks blasphemies. Anyone who does not worship his, this image is killed. With the use of computers, the beast will be able to control every person on the globe. Everyone shall receive my mark in his forehead or in his right hand. Without this mark, you, you will be unable to buy or sell. But the Lord gives this warning. If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels. Guards, there's one without a mark. He was trying to buy food. The fool. I've got him. Hey, let's watch. They've caught another one. Martyrdom is now the price of salvation. The world becomes one gigantic witch's coven. Satanism is already, already saturating the world. The bottomless pit is opened and demonic forces cover the earth. The unspeakable appears and mankind goes mad. Occult murders, drugs, raping, sodomizing, and looting is everywhere. Yet these people will not repent. The world is in Satan's grip. 
God pours out his wrath on an unbelieving and rebellious world. And the third part of the waters became wormwood, and many men died of the waters, because they were made bitter. And the third part of the sea became blood, and the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died, and a third part of the ships were destroyed. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. And men were scorched with great heat, and blasphemed the name of God, which hath power over these plagues. Plague after plague strikes man, and still he will not repent. God moves ten leaders to rebel against the beast. In their hatred of the great horror of revelation, they destroy the Vatican by fire. There is great rejoicing in heaven. God allows the beast to escape to, Jer to Jer Jerusalem because the Lord Jesus wants to take him alive and cast him into the lake of fire. In his madness, the beast orders every Jew killed and two-thirds are put to death. All hope is gone. It's over. Israel is finished. But a new threat to his power arises. Satan knows Jesus Christ is about to return to take over the governments of the world, so he masses his armies to try and block the Lord's return at Jerusalem. The great armies of the beast move from all directions into an area known as the Valley of Megiddo, or Armageddon. And I saw heaven opened, and behold a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he, a, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. The second coming of Christ, the Jewish Messiah. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. The Battle of Armageddon And I saw the beast, and the kings of the earth, and their armies, gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse, and against his army. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone. And the remnant were slain with the sword of him that sat upon the horse, which shored, which shored proceeded out of his mouth, and all the fowls were, f were filled with their flesh. Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace, now rules over the earth. Swords are beaten into plowshares, and there shall be no more war. The great millennium has come. I looked, and I actually saw the nail prints in our Messiah's hands. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. One thousand years later, that great and terrible day finally comes, the day when all who died in their sins will be judged by their Creator, the Lord Jesus. Do their names appear in the book of life? No, Lord, their names do not appear. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God, and the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. God's love gift, eternal life, is still extended to you in these closing hours. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your own personal Savior, and you will reign with him throughout eternity. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. The Bible says there is only one way to heaven. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me.